Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Factory Town. So I didn't realize that uh, the, on, on my OBS studio I was not bringing in the sound from the game. So the only sounds that you were able to hear were from my microphone picking it up. So it should be better now. So we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to do the new campaign, our next campaign. So I do my, I guess my save games are on there for some reason. Oh, let me continue though. That's weird. Okay. So this is a whole different uh, setup. We've already got shoots. That's cool. Huh, that was neat. All right. So they want us to get to level four, factory town or town center. Um, you know, school. You know, forester. There's 50 sandwiches, 50 warm coats, and 50 cloth conveyor belts. Okay. Well. got quite a few things going on right here that we are, I mean, it seems quite a, quite a bit more advanced. They're using the carts and the chutes. They got a barn. Okay. But let's see. Uh, where is it? We need a kitchen. And we gotta bring in, let's say, bread and cheese. Interesting. Okay. So, what would. Let's go to the research here and see here. Conveyor farming. Okay. Animal pasture. Tailor. We need that for the clothes probably. Um I'm not sure what uh buildings we need for the uh For the cheese and the bread, probably have some kind of bakery for the bread. Okay, but we don't have farming unlocked yet. We need to unlock farming. We need a level th um, level three town center for that, and also for the tailor. I get this one here immediately. We, we need to unlock cloth conveyor belts. We need to build 50 of those. Okay, so we got some work to do here. All right, so the first thing is we want to we need to unlock that wood conveyor belt first and the farming. So, do we have a school yet? I don't see one. Oh, that's, what we, that's one thing you need to do as a school. We need to build a school. Okay. Let's do that first. So that one is going to require wood and water. So 
So we need a lumber mill. That's producing planks. Okay. I'm gonna build another lumber mill. Wait, do I have enough resources? I do not. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Alright, so we've got a lumber mill going here. You are going to do paper. So we need to have some more workers. Forty of the red coins. So the red coins, I believe, are when you sell goods, products, earned by selling goods to markets and houses. Okay. So anything we 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 can. sell to the market or the houses will give us red coins. This thing's already backing up here. Well, we can increase that. Looks like they're not selling enough of the flour. We got more coming in. So um, it can only store 20 at a time. It's not even emptying out the cart. <clears throat> okay.
Oh, a book is ten. Okay. All right, we have the forty coins, forty red coins. Just gotta get a lot more paper. Increase the workers here. We're going to get two more workers, one more doing water. One more doing wood. So that has 822 deposit there. So it looks like these do deplete. some red coins. fifties um, research. So we got wooden conveyors. Conveyor belts. Conveyor belts are critical tools for amending, amending your town. Place them on a building's front tile and resources will automatically be output onto them and carried away. You can also directly feed resources into any other side or level of a building from a belt. <clears throat> okay. So now we gotta work on getting um, our town center upgraded. So we need uh, 10 wagon wheels and we need 10 stone bricks. Okay. So I'm gonna build another lumber mill. We wanna keep that guy doing planks. And we're going to have you do, oh shoot, um, no, oh wait a minute, 
I was thinking I wanted the workshop. Okay. Okay, can I destroy this building? I already have one of those. I forgot about that. We got a whole bunch of bricks in here.
producing the wheels while they keep going. There we go, now I got our wheels. Okay. We still don't have any bricks coming in though. So I'm not sure why they did this, but they they got this T section here. So the how we dismantle something. Gotta be a bulldozer or something in here. They got all this stone coming all the way down here, and it's not even getting to the, uh, the stonemason. Well, I think what it is is their, the stonemason has doesn't have an output, so it creates the the brick. And it has no way to nowhere to go. going into the okay so that was the issue okay so now it's making bricks 
but we don't really need this section. We need to have it come from here and go to the, the wild end of the town center. But we can upgrade this now. House max by four. Okay, farming, forestry, intermediate logistics, fluid pipe, tailor, coin boosters, wooden railways. Okay. I can't believe there's no way to destroy things. So we need two more farms, we need a forester. trees and we plant them when fully consumed all right automatically harvest and replants nearby crops can also apply water and fertilizer to nearby farm tiles to spread regrowth there's a variety of way to cook food items okay. so we need that kitchen Two hundred red coins. We need ten wooden. No, we need ten cloth conveyor belts and ten wooden rails. Okay. So we need to have this unlocked first. That will unlock our cloth conveyor belt. So we need 100 red coins and 200 um, research points. Okay. So.
me out bricks. I'm going to take them bricks. Take them to the market. So that he can start producing or sending them to the houses. And uh, that should give us red coins. I think. It'll also upgrade our houses to level three. Alright, so it looks like for some reason they're not selling them to the market, so I'm just going to take them to the houses individually. <clears throat> Like, okay, so this doesn't look like it takes. Um, it doesn't accept stone brick. So we need to, this is doing paper. This is doing planks. Okay, so we have enough research points for this one now. Filter, merger, priority sorter, and cloth conveyor belt. Logistics blocks are placed on top of belts, chutes, and pipes to filter and redirect goods traveling down them. Grabbers can be used to pull goods from any side of a building onto a path. Okay. So we're getting into some filters and things. <clears throat> So it's going to be more complicated. Okay. So. Produced by the workshop. Okay. Hate to build so many multiple buildings of the same kind, but. 
We need some. We need things for different reasons. Different reasons. Okay, so we need you to do. Cloth conveyor belt is still not unlocked. I just unlock that. Hmm. Maybe I just got cloth, I don't know. Let me see here. Um, we got cars, wooden mine car. Oh, I don't have that unlocked yet. Okay. on wooden rails because we need, we need some rails for the upgrade for the town center and we also need to have that mine cart that will help I think we got a lot of research to do we also need to get a tailor so we can produce clothes and we also need farming so we can get two more farms. Okay. Wow, all the houses are level three now. Look at our population is really way up there now. Cool. We can get up to 46 people. <clears throat> so these guys doing apples, I don't think it's really necessary. It's give me coins, but we got lots of coins. I could use the red coins. Um, There used to be a, um, a, a sheet that you could pull up that would tell you it would tell you what how many like for example the red coins how many red coins you get for each item that you sell. This is not... We got grains, sandwich, egg, chicken, fruit, okay, cheese. Cheese is produced by the kitchen, I kind of thought so. Alright, so... Now, we can have our, let's see, school, research, okay. What produces the book? 
is the workshop. It is the workshop. Okay. So leather or cloth. Okay. So wow. We're gonna need okay. So I still need paper though. So if we can do um If we can do books, books are worth 10 research points. A paper is only worth one research point. So if we were to do the books, but, you know, it does require um, a lot more things. We need cloth. Let's see, we need, okay, yeah. We need wool. Wow. So we need we need wool for the cloth, and then we need two cloth per book. Or we can do leather, which we don't have the ability to do leather yet. Um, and let's see. How do you get claw? How do you get wool? Probably from farming. Okay, so we plant cotton. Yeah. Okay, so we need farming. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we got for research available now. Okay, we need uh, 100 research points to do farming. I think that's going to be our next thing right there. We're at 89. This is producing paper. We're going to increase this. Um, more effective getting it from the well or getting it from the actual pond. <clears throat> okay. So for the water, we could um, eventually get the um, oops. Okay. Oh, I just clicked on So we can eventually get the fluid pipe. We can do that right now, but uh, we can get the fluid pipe, and then that will give us the ability to pipe water in. Okay, and that will eliminate some of the people hopping around. Okay, so now we can do farms. Farms will automatically harvest nearby resources and replant them when depleted. Farm tiles, water, and fertilizer will speed crop regrowth speeds. Okay, so now we can do farms. Um, build a farm. Requires 20 stone and 20 planks. Okay, so we've already got, well, we got wheat here. I'm going to set this. Available recipes. Planks and paper. Wait. Am 
I just build, I build a lumber mill? I thought I built a farm. Huh. Okay. Alright, you've got to be able to destroy buildings in this game. Has to be away. cotton, but I need yeah, yeah, cotton field. Now's a good time to expand our map a little bit and see what we got. some cotton okay so here's where we should put the farm at so let's go ahead and build another farm and uh, bring more resources or something okay um, farm okay we need more planks Wait, we can actually move this. I forgot about that. Let's move this. Okay, there we go. And now, you are going to produce cotton. Look that. Okay, so the shoot Okay, so this is gonna do the cloth. Okay, let's actually move that one. I'll put you over here. You are going to produce cloth from the cotton. Okay. So can we use a shoot?
well, we might have to just bring it over by hand. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take that. Actually, we can just do
shoot a cameo up the hill. Oh crap. Alright. Well, in that case, these things just uh, for level for, when it's not level I forgot about that we can do that ourselves let's see if we can do that let me pause this for a minute and we'll go ahead and remove these panels yeah so we created I already created one okay so let's take a shoot.
No, I can't do that. Oh, well, it might be because it's not, can't be on a conveyor, or uh, has to be a conveyor maybe, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if we have the conveyors unlocked yet. Well, we got cloth, oh, so we got wooden conveyors unlocked. <clears throat> Shop requires planks and wood. Wow. Workshop that made them. Well, that's a stone mason. Never mind. Where's the workshop? Town center. Let's go ahead and... Didn't I already have somebody do the book? Okay, well you can go ahead and switch to a book now. Actually, no. Make. He's taking a little cloth. He's making a cloth. Okay, so then. Need another workshop. here and we still need some more paper but not as much 
So you can take the paper right over here. Oops, not there. Right there. It requires four paper. Increase that a little bit. That's good. Now we need to work on this. We need to get the cloth conveyor belts. Um, yeah. Okay. Now it seems to me we need to make we need wooden conveyor belts to make cloth ones though too. So let me see here. Let me just take a workshop and just look. Yeah, okay, so yeah, cloth requires wood. Yep. Okay. So we gotta get another workshop here. something. Always need more planks. He doesn't need to make wheels anymore. But I think he's selling the wheels to the workshop or to the the store. Oh, I saw him over here. Right here. Okay. 
they're being they're being sold for um, for red coins, I believe. So I guess it's okay. Coin boosters. I wonder if that one used to be. If you can boost red coins as well. I would think so. <clears throat> okay. So we're waiting on paper all the time. This thing really should be cranking out the paper because the um, we got guys doing water, bringing water in and bringing wood in, and they're close by, so they shouldn't be it shouldn't be a waiting time too much. Um, the only time it would be a waiting time is if they can't produce, they can't output it. And right now they got yeah they got ten they got ten paper sitting there waiting to be taken out. So let's see here. Carts can be used to quickly transport lots of goods, place rails and rail stops next to buildings to automatically deposit or withdraw goods from a building. Set the item filter on the mining cart to restrict type of goods to be picked up. Okay. So these are nicer because they can move faster than your people can. So basically we just build the mine cart. If I remember correctly, the rail cars, mine car, yeah. So we do require the wooden wheels, though. Um, so we can take one of these and we'll just build it anywhere. Um, we can move it later. So let's put it there, and then we can use, for example, we can take. Because it doesn't have to be. This is on a path. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be on a rail. It could be on a path. Take 
my car go? We just lost our mine cart. Well, that's a bug. Should be able to use mine carts for anything. Like they're bringing wood. And I'm not sure how many they can bring. I think it's like five. Four. They bring four items. Okay. So. phone. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see. Okay, now we've got... Okay, so this has got... Uh, it doesn't have enough... Okay, is this? this is producing paper. Why we got two of them producing paper right here? This is doing really anything though. We got a worker in it, but I don't think he's doing, he's doing anything. He is. We're doing the paper from here now. Alright, folks. So I did do some playing off camera because this is a long drawn out scenario and it requires a lot of has a lot of victory conditions and the episode was getting kind of long so I thought I would do some recording or do some playing off camera so I do have all the, con all the victory conditions set in motion um, we are producing sandwiches and we are producing our warm coats we already met the condition for the this for the uh, the conveyor belts, you know, way more than enough. So, <clears throat> um, and I forgot that you could actually produce multiple things on a building. So, I was always creating another workshop all the time, but you can actually have a workshop create multiple things. Like, um, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really have any, any need for any of that right now because the workshop. Um, it does wood wheels, it does the conveyor belts, cloth, um, so, but in the case like, for example, the pasture here, the pasture is making milk, raw chicken, leather, and wool, okay, so, um, as it gets resources in, it'll make those things, so right now, it is, it's, uh, bringing in milk, or bringing in, uh, animal feed, and water. And then that will produce the milk. It takes two animal feed. Of course, I've already got so much animal feed coming in. But once it gets it gets milk, makes the milk, and then uh, it makes the wool. That require those require two. Now, typically, what happens is the leather is not coming in very fast because of the fact it requires four. Um, if I had the uh, ability to bring in more animal feed, I would, but currently, I am maxed out on my, on my workers, and I cannot get any more houses because I am, with my current town center, I can only get 16 houses, and I have at my limit, so, 16 houses. So I've got a lot of, um, I got my max workers, so I have taken things, I have taken some workers off certain tasks that I don't need so much anymore, like um, making these, the, the wood here, uh, because I was using this system here to get my, that conveyor systems here, and then the, the chutes for bringing in the wood, I was making the wood conveyor belts, and then, um, 
making them into cloth for that for that victory condition. I no longer need those now, so I'm uh, I switched some of those workers to doing other things like the, the kitchens and and things. So the kitchen here is producing bread, so it's bringing in um, the flour that makes bread. Now it actually right now it has an output of ten out of ten, so it cannot make any more bread because it's not making them. It's, it's making bread so fast and it's not getting these other things in. So it needs to make cheese. So it's bringing in cheese from the from the pasture. It takes three cheese though to make, or to make, it makes three milk to bring in to make one cheese. So it takes a while to get the three, the three milk in. So um, once it gets three milk, it makes a cheese. And as you can see, um, it needs a cheese here. It's short on the cheese to make another sandwich. So I've got enough cooked chicken coming in because the, the pasture is also making chicken, but uh, it's actually producing more chicken than what I need right now. So my hold up right now is the cheese. So um, if I could bring in more workers, bring in so I could bring in more cheese at a, or more milk at a time, that'd be nice. I might pull somebody off of something else. Like this guy's doing. Okay, he doesn't need to be doing that. So I can pull him off. Have him go get go get the milk. And that'll be one more person doing milk. But the problem is that the milk isn't coming in very fast either because it has to split the animal feed up among all these things. All these things here require animal feed. So my animal feed's coming in down here. I got a wagon bringing it. <clears throat> I was trying to do um, I was trying to do this. The, the mine cart and it kept saying uh, that it was, it was not traversable. I was like, well, what's going on? I was like, well, it has these wagon carts over, or has these carts over here. But I didn't realize that they were these were actually wagons and not mine carts. So the wagons can go on up and down the roads, but the mine carts are only for rails. I thought they were the same thing. I didn't realize <clears throat> that one was a wagon. Because when, you know, in, in the start of the scenario, you already had somebody you know, on, the, on this map, you already had um, a couple wagons going back and forth. So I thought, well, they're, they were able to make that work, so why couldn't I? But I didn't realize that uh, it's because of the fact that they were actually wagons, not minecarts. So, <clears throat> okay, so this mine, this wagon can do. I had had an excess of wood there. I was doing that, so he could bring in more feed there. Problem is, it gets congested out here because there's so many minecarts coming, or so many wagons coming in through here that they have to keep on going around each other all the time. They can bring in four at a time. As opposed to having one worker bring in just one at a time. So it does help. So maybe I can get this going a little faster now. So I got two cart or two mine two wagons bringing in um, the animal feed so so I got here I did I got an operation going here I did another um, another farm this is producing more cotton it's storing it in the barn lots of wool, lots of cotton there. That one is going up this conveyor and it's making um, cloth. So this cloth is required for the cheese, believe it or not. The cheese requires a cloth. So, but I got plenty of cheese, or I got plenty of cloth and I'm actually maxed out at 20. 
and uh, so the hold up again is that milk. And I can't bring any more people in, so. Need more animal feed faster. And also, this is my tailor it is making uh, the, the, the warm coats. So it produces the shirts. So I got another supply coming in with cloth again. It makes the shirts. And then um, it just takes the shirt from the same building that made it. And uh, it is producing the warm coats. But it does require wool. And it requires leather. And then the shirt. So it is slowly getting there. We got another 30 more uh, sandwiches to make and uh, another 35 more warm coats. And then we will have completed the scenario. Okay. So this was a long one. This was a, they had a lot of victory conditions for this one. And we still got a bit of Forester, so let's go ahead and make that while we're waiting. Let's see. Oh, we need, we need stone. Okay. Well, let's stop this from doing that for right now. Let's just let it stockpile some stone. Planks is something you always need a lot of too. So each one of these buildings are they're doing planks. I got like several workers doing them. I probably don't need so many planks now, so I could probably reduce this down. to spare. We got work going here now. So he is actually going to um, we can have him do wood. Now what he'll do is he'll um, I actually should put him over here someplace else. So what he'll do now is he will grab all the wood that's in range of this building 
and then he will um, output the wood and then he will uh, regrow the trees when these resources are, are depleted he will regrow the trees in this area around in the building so I don't really need to output any wood right now because I don't really have a, a need for wood I'm just need, trying to get the other the sandwiches and the coats done but that was one last condition we needed to fill. <clears throat> so leather is not coming in very fast, and neither is the milk. So the reason why is because this requires four leather, four uh, animal feed to produce one leather. thing is that it can't output so we need to fix that too um, right now the the fertilizer is max notice how the leather it produces leather and fertilizer all these do this requires fertilizer it outputs fertilizer outputs fertilizer fertilizer and the fertilizer is maxed out so that's one reason why it's taking a while too so we're gonna go ahead and build a barn and we're going to store some of that fertilizer. Yeah, I guess I can't do that. I'll do... Now it's producing raw chicken and wool. It's still not doing leather though, but that's because of the feed is still not coming in fast enough. We might just have to make another pasture just for leather because it's going to be constantly fighting for leather and it's never going to get it because these ones that require just two, in, two animal feed are going to get those that animal feed first. So it's never going to fulfill that condition. So we're going to go ahead and make another pasture. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now I don't have enough wagons. Let's just take this wagon and have him go to this one instead. Okay, and then you can make leather. We need water coming in too, jeez. Slow down on the stone. 
don't need all that much paper anymore. We got 6,000 paper. We got 6,000 6, research points. We don't need that much paper anymore. Let's take this off then. Let's not do this in here. Crazy, we got all these guys standing around with nothing to do because it's not producing enough stuff and quick enough. So when it turns purple like this, that means it's maxed out. It's already filled. It's got 10 out of 10. So the cheese is what's the hold up on that, where the milk is. Okay, so we are back here and uh, we have done the goal for the warm coats. We got five more on the sandwiches. I just switched this pasture here to doing the milk also. So, um, so this guy here is doing coats. Let's see. Those few down here. <clears throat>
got two more, and we need one more, ch one more milk, and we'll have another cheese. Okay, so I'm making another cheese right now, so I'll make another sandwich. folks that is going to do it for me on this video so uh, this was the second uh, scenario in the game here the factory town so I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, please like and subscribe if you did and uh, we'll see you back on the next one bye for now